one wow too much wubsy tf. Job had attended school like a normal day, but this day was anything but. Having been diagnosed an extremely rare condition a week ago, meaning that when he said a wow, it would slowly turn him into the character that lives in a fictional town and says wow a lot. He knew he had to watch his mouth, since he considered the wow word as a swear word. Today, a winner of a writing contest will go on a comping trip with four other people to the city of Wizzleburg, a fictional town which was seen in the show Wow, Wow, Wubsy. But they would stay out of contact of all the characters, so they could have a nice camping trip. Job himself had four friends. Tyson, the owner of four bulldogs, which he loves Karen, a huge juice equals juice fan Maria, a millionaire girl and Tobias, the champion gymnast in the floor. Parallel bars and horse. All of them go to the same school, and they will find their results today. When the bell rung, every student in the school made their way to the hall, where the headmistress, Mrs. Schmidt, took to the stage to announce the winners. She go all of the students to remain silent before making her speech. Good morning everyone, Mrs. Schmidt began. I would like to thank each and every one of you for entering our competition to win a camping trip to Wuzzleburg for a weekend. You will have no interaction with the characters from the show Wow, Wow, Wubsy. In any way possible, and must be able to pack a picnic. There can only be one winner. So, I will announce the top five places. Fifth place wins a pound 100 comma oh oh oh. Fourth place wins a, a pound 100 voucher for HMV. Third place wins camping gear. Second place wins camping gear and a pound 1 comma oh 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 to spend in half words and the winner will choose up to four people to go camping. Wow, John exclaimed, out of the blue, without him knowing, his hand turned a bright yellow. But it was only his right. Oh crap. He thought, okay, I will now announce the results. Mrs. Schmidt announced, in fifth place, an earning check of a pound 100 comma oh oh oh, goes to Mrs. Irene Porter. Irene walked up to the platform and received a check of a pound 100 comma oh oh oh. She was upset that she didn't win the experience to visit a new place. In fourth place and earning a pound 100 voucher for HMV goes to Mr. Carl Watson. Announced a happy Mrs. Schmidt, Carl looked at the stage, and thought wow, my brother really is good with his handwriting. Carl returned to sit next to him, well, what happened to your hand, did you say wow again, he asked furiously, yes, was all John could say, you idiot, I told you not to say that, Carl snapped, but, why? John asked nervously. Didn't you realize what would happen to you? You'll turn into the main character of his OWN show. Carl snapped more furiously than ever. We're sorry for the inconvenience, Mrs. Schmidt said unintentionally, but the person winning third place cannot receive camping gear at this time. There was a sound of silence for a while before Mrs. Schmidt added but we'll deliver the camping gear to him. Our third place winner is Mr. Louis Fotheringham. Wow, imagine someone not being here to claim her prize, John told Carl, but the effect has now turned his left hand bright yellow. Oh no, this is bad, first my right hand, and now my left? Question mark he thought. Our second place winner, who also wins camping gear, as well as the a pound one comma oh 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 to spend in half words Mrs. Schmidt said, continuing with her speech, is not here either. We will deliver the award to her. Our second place winner is Mrs. Rose Thornton. Wow, that was awkward. John exclaimed, before looking at his arms. This time, it's his right arm that turned a bright yellow. Not only that, his right arm has also lost all of its hair. Oh no, now all of my right arm is yellow, he thought. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner, of the 2020 Street, Herald's competition essay, and the winner of a camping trip to Wuzzleburg, is, Mrs. Schmidt announced before silence filled the room again. This time, Mrs. Schmidt opened her mouth and announced, Mr. Tyson O'Kayla. Everyone, including John, Maria. Tobias and Karen, cheered as Tyson claimed his reward. Anything you would like to say, Tyson? Mrs. Schmidt asked politely. Yes, I do. Tyson responded. I want to thank everyone for helping me with the essay. You guys are legit, and without you, I would never be able to win this camping trip. Thank you. Everyone applauded him, 
and Mrs. Schmidt walked up to him and asked him the important question. Who do you want to take to Wuzzleburg on a camping trip? Mrs. Schmidt asked him. Tyson thought for a moment, and then said I will take John, Karen, Maria and Tobias. They are the reason I won. I want to repay the favor by giving them a camping trip with me. We'll have loads of fun, don't worry. John and his three other friends, Karen, Maria and Tobias, made their way up the stage and each took their turn to say something. When John stepped up, everyone knew his right arm and his left hand was bright yellow. I wanted to say this. Wow, this camping trip will be the best, John said, before looking at his left arm, and noticing it too has turned bright yellow. Oh great, now both of my arms are bright yellow. We wish our winner Tyson and his chosen for a wonderful camping trip to Wuzzleburg. Mrs. Schmidt announced before wishing everyone else a good day and to enjoy their summer holiday. Well done on being chosen for this camping trip, Carl said cheerfully. But, look at your ARMS, dude, they're yellow. Carl snarled. I, I couldn't help. Myself, John replied. When we get home, I will pack my bags and then wait for Tyson, Tobias, Karen and Maria to turn up and head to Wizzleburg. John added moments later. The following day was when Tyson's car had shown up. Tyson's car was bright blue, with a two-level caravan trailer attached to it. The trailer was navy and blue, with a hint of teal on the back. In the car was Tyson, Karen and Tobias. Tyson was driving it, while Karen is sitting in the back. Wow, this looks cool, John exclaimed, but after he said that, Le took his shoes off, and realized that his feet are now round. Great, first, my hands, and now, my my feet? He thought. He hopped into the back with Karen, as they went to pick up Maria. Look guys, I know you might yell at me but, my feet are round now. John admitted sadly. Okay, I understand it was because of you saying the W word, right? Tyson asked. Yes, it was. John replied. Dude, I promise you, go a day without saying the W word, you'll turn back to normal and you'll be free from that rare disease. Tyson promised. I promise, John exclaimed. That's good. Was all Tyson could say, as the car pulled up outside Maria's house. When Maria entered the car, they knew where they would be going to Wizzleburg. I hear someone's been saying the W word quite a lot. Who is it, and why has it gotten a big deal? Maria asked curiously. I said the W word. Now, my arms and hands are yellow and my feet are round. John replied, Maria didn't mind neither did Karen or Tobias. A few hours later, they made it to Wuzzleburg. Wow! John exclaimed, then looked at his feet to find that they have turned bright yellow. Oh no, not only are my feet round, but they're bright yellow too? He thought to himself, great, you promised not to say the W word, and you've just said it. Tyson snapped, Karen. Maria and Tobias both sighed. Actions do harder damage than words do. I know I've said wow about a few times since being diagnosed. John began to speak, before realizing his legs have turned yellow. Oh no, not my legs too. He thought, that's now six times he said that. Maria exclaimed, if he says eight more, he'll be wubsy forever. Tobias added, what do you mean? Karen asked, you know his disease. If he says a certain number of wows, he becomes wubsy for the rest of his life, and has to make Wizzleburg his permanent home. And we don't want that. Tyson responded, I know. Karen replied unintentionally, looks like we're here. Tobias exclaimed, and Tyson had to make sure they weren't in any contact with the characters from the show. Yep, this area has no characters use it. Let's set up here, shall we? Tyson asked. Yeah, Karen said. Why not? Maria added. Cool, John replied also. So, without further ado, let's make our camping place. Right here, Tyson declared. Yeah, Karen and Maria exclaimed. Awesome. Was Tobias's reply. Wow, John cried. Oh crud, this is not good. John though, as he finds himself shrunken down to wubsy size, his clothes are now so loose. He was covered in them. Oh no, that's now seven. When will he stop? Tobias shouted aggressively. I don't know to be honest. Was Karen's response. Okay, I'm sorry. The W word I said is now forbidden on my watch. I'm sorry, John added, 
which was greeted with forgiveness. I understand. Just don't say any more wows and you'll be back to normal. Don't you worry, Karen said. Besides, along with not saying the W word, I hear my favorite band could be the cure to such a disease. Jaren added later. We know, it's juice equals juice, and it won't work. We need to make sure he doesn't say any more wows. Tyson told her. Why? Maria asked. Well, he said seven of them. And if he says any more, he'll end up living in a tree. And we don't want that. Tyson responded. We know. We know. Wow. This is awkward. John reminded him. Before he felt an aching pain. He knew. A tail was coming out from the bass of his spine. He was in so much pain. And when the tail had fully grown. It turned bright yellow. Oh no, now a tail? John thought, this is getting out of hand. If he says six more wows, he'll be wubsy forever. We have to stop him. Karen exclaimed. Wow, it's too late now. I am wubsy. I'm no longer John. Came a familiar response. It was John, and he's turning into wubsy, and fast. Tyson tried covering his mouth when he said the wow. Karen tried playing Sano by and Wonderful World by Juice equals Juice, Maria tried using a magic spell on him, and Tobias tried to make him watch an episode of Total Drama. None had worked. Wow, that's quality. Job had exclaimed, now his whole body had turned yellow, like his arms, legs and newfound tail. This is hopeless. Karen exclaimed sadly, with tears starting to roll down his face. Don't be sad. Karen, John replied, thanks, Karen said, wiping the tear off her face, no problem, John exclaimed, it's been quite an hour since John had said the last wow, which led to his body being normal colored again, man, I'm starting to be John again, John replied, but not for long, I could hear a wow coming about a few moments from now, Tyson told him, don't be daft. I'll be fine. John replied. Oh, I guess I was right. You're spending an hour and your skin is not normal. Tyson said, taking notice of his body. Wow, thank you. John replied, but he knew his body turned yellow again. Oh crap, here we go again. Tyson exclaimed, which threw Maria, Karen and Tobias into a lot of panic. Oh God, not again. John thought, wow, wow, no need to panic. John reminded them. But the two wows had doubled the impact, as his eyes and nose had become black. Oh no, one more wow, and we're out of here. Tyson exclaimed, this is so not happening. Maria screamed, in a scared tone, I'll miss you lots, but I've got to go. I won't see you again. Thanks for taking me. John called out as he left. Oh no, he's about to say one more wow. And with that. He's wubsy forever. Tyson said in a scared tone. Wow wow wow. That was fun. Job had said, but with three wows, it not only changed him, but it also knocked him out too. Forcing his four friends to leave Wizzleburg and head home. John, now known as Wubsy, woke up on his bed, to find that he has been lying on his bed. On one side was Walden and Widget, and Daisy was on the other side. Offering him his kickity kickball. Wubsy, we were wondering where you went all this time. Walden asked unintentionally. Um, I was out camping, but I was diagnosed with a rare condition which made me wubsy. Wubsy responded. And you said enough wows for the change to be permanent. I'm sure you'll have a fun time in Wizzleburg. Widget added. Okay, when is the next production date? Wubsy asked. Sunday 18th of June. Was Widget's response. What's the day today? Wubsy then asked. Widget and Daisy looked at the calendar from a different point. Today is Tuesday 6th of June. The production team had to go on holiday for the weekend. Widget added. Why not try telling the audience who you are? Daisy asked. I'll try. Was Wubsy's response. Walden set up the camera, while Widget set his alarm clock. Finally it rung, and Wubsy woke up and, in a childish tone, said wow wow everyone, my name is Wubsy, Walden, Widget and Daisy clapped, he knew he'd be the main star of the show, Wubsy giggled, as he fell asleep, knowing he'll say wow whenever he pleased.